Alright, so I've tried to record this video about four times now, and every time I do it, it seems like just a few hours afterwards, more news comes out about the Draymond Green and Jordan Poole situation, and I recorded another time yesterday, and I planned on posting that today, and then last night, um, probably around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, is when the video actually got leaked, and that really changes the entire feeling of the situation. You know, a lot of people... It was kind of, um, you know, um, Draymond Green, they had an altercation, happens in basketball all the time. You know, guys, tempers run high, you know, they, they get in each other's faces, they're arguing, maybe a little shoving goes on. But now we see that Jordan Poole, yeah, sure, he might have said some things to Draymond, he might have talked some trash, but that's just a part of the game. You see that Jordan Poole pushes Draymond off of him when he comes up at him, and then Draymond just goes to town, he just... It, basically knocks Jordan Poole out. I saw a post that uh, Jordan Poole is in concussion protocol now, but I don't know how true that one is. But um, yeah, this j the video just completely changes the situation. Now you've got to expect that Draymond Green is 100% going to see some type of suspension, if not a fine as well. Probably both combined in some way, shape, or form. And then you're also going to see the Warriors have to investigate this for probably previous experiences and hoping to prevent future experiences. And now... I hate to say it, but the NBA is probably going to have to get involved overall. Adam Silver, they messed up and dropped the ball on the Phoenix Sun situation, but knowing them, they'll probably get this one, and they're going to run with it. Draymond Green has a very, very good opportunity of getting suspended for not a lot, probably not a whole lot of this season, but a good amount of games, especially considered to how we've seen other people get suspended in the past. And it's just crazy to think that this team is who won the championship last year, you know, Whenever you think of a championship team, probably the biggest thing you think of outside of how they play, how well they play on the court together, um, obviously that is the main thing. You think of how much chemistry they can build. Like for the Bucks, you just feel, if you follow their social media, if you follow all of their players, you just feel like they have a good culture. You know, Giannis is a good guy. Drew and Chris are all humble guys. Bobby, maybe not so humble, but he's still a decent guy. And you just feel like they have a good culture. They're all connected and I always assumed the Warriors were that way. We know guys like Draymond Green can be a pest. They can be aggravating. Patrick Beverly is very similar. I know his teammates probably don't always like him. Probably Steph don't even always like Draymond. But to just straight up punch a teammate over some trash talking, I don't completely think that's a, a sane thing to do. And as much as I hate to say it, this may not get solved with just a suspension. A lot of people, you know are saying that the Warriors need both of these guys to win the championship. And while I do agree, I think this is going to be a very, very tough start to the season. It's kind of going to overshadow the actual fact that they need to go out there and play basketball. I don't know that this is solved with Draymond Green being suspended for a certain amount of time. Jordan Poole is likely not going to want to be on the court with him or not in the locker room with him for a substantial amount of time, and I completely agree with that. I would not expect him to just forgive him in a matter of seconds. It's kind of one of those situations where... You know, Draymond or Jordan have to go. One of them has to be out of Golden State. And it's going to be tough to trade Jordan Poole because of how much value he brought to your team last year. Yes, I know he was pretty bad as a rookie. But last year, he had really, really stepped up. And he's probably the biggest reason, in my opinion, outside of maybe Andrew Wiggins and, you know, obviously Steph, that they won that championship. Those games where other guys were struggling offensively, he really came through and he made his mark on the NBA playoffs and on the finals in general. And I don't think the Warriors can afford to get rid of that. Excuse me, my throat. <clears throat> I don't think the Warriors can afford to get rid of Jordan Poole, especially considering who they would probably get in return. It's not like they're going to get a guy that's quite as good as Jordan Poole. And I've seen a lot of people, you know, speculating that maybe they would trade him to like the Timberwolves or something and get a nice piece in return. But I don't really see that happening. Um, I did see an interesting one which have revolved around Damian Lillard and um, getting traded to Golden State, then Jordan Poole teaming up with Anthony Simons and then kind of making the Trailblazers team a little bit younger and probably better, or better built for the future, but I'm not really here to talk about trades specifically. Maybe that's another video in the future. Overall, if I'm the Warriors, you've got to feel like Draymond Green is the guy that has to go. You know, he is a good leader. He has some amazing moments offensively. Usually he's probably, a, or preferably, 
a little uh, below average offensively than you would like him to be, but he has some good moments offensively. He's a very good playmaker, especially at his position, especially at his size and speed for his position. He's a great defender, a team leader on defense. He's probably one of the best reasons that are the biggest reasons the Warriors have had a consistently decent to above average defense every year is just because of how well he leads that team. And you come out here and you do something like this, that's not a good look for you to be the leader of the team going forward. Guys aren't going to look for you to, you know, if I'm Patrick Baldwin Jr., I'm scared. I am terrified to talk about Draymond Green or to talk to Draymond Green if I think he's going to come over there and knock me out because I said something about him. And a lot of the rumors, you know, have to revolve around Jordan Poole getting a big contract extension and Draymond Green likely looking to a smaller extension than he would like. Obviously, we've seen him come out in the past. Rumors have come out and said he feels like he's worthy of a max contract extension. I don't agree with that at all. I think he brings a lot of value to the team. But at 32 years old, his offense just isn't there where it needs to be. The Warriors can't afford to just hold down an entire, you know, portion of their cap space on a guy like Draymond Green, especially when they already have a guy like Klay Thompson who has been regressing due to injuries who hopefully can get back to that level, but we don't know. He's getting paid a lot of money too. So if you if you sign Draymond Green to that max contract, you've got Steph on his obviously massive contract, which he deserves. Klay Thompson on one, which he deserves arguably because of what he did in the past, whether or not he becomes that player again. We're going to have to wait and see. But as of right now, he deserves that contract. Andrew Wiggins signs the max contract extension. Jordan Poole probably looking at a very big extension. Tyler Hero just got four years, $130 million. Gary Trent Jr. is another young guy similar to both of these guys who's likely going to get a big contract extension. So Jordan Poole is looking at a bag. And really the only person out there that is left outside or left on the other side of the argument is Draymond Green. And that's probably why the tensions rose so high if I had to take a guess, you know, um, outside of just the singular trash talking, Draymond Green is just, you know, he's a pest. He is always willing to get into an altercation. And from what Jordan Poole said, you know, tensions have been rising since the championship, which is just crazy considering that, um, you know, they won a championship together. You always just... Like I said, you just always think of championship teams as harmony. They just seem like those people that get out there on the court. They play so well together, good enough to win an NBA Finals, which is difficult enough speaking in of itself. But at the end of the day, coming out here in this offseason, they got they kept their core. They didn't get a lot worse. I mean, they lost Gary Payton the second, but they replaced him with Dante DiVincenzo. And now this whole situation has, a opp- or has the opportunity to really cut this Warriors run short And I'm not saying they're going to be terrible whether or not Draymond leaves, whether or not Jordan Poole leaves, but they really have an opportunity here with this drama that they might not do quite as good as they should have this year because likely they're going to be distracted. You know, Steph Curry's really got to step up and be the leader for these young guys. He's got to step up and be the leader for the team. No matter what happens to these two guys, Draymond's probably going to get suspended at the minimum no matter what they get traded for, no matter how that situation happens. Steph has to step up and show these guys how to get out there and play winning basketball still, no matter what distractions are all around them. That's just how I look at this situation. You know, it's a bad situation altogether. Um, Just a terrible way to start the season. Not even start the season, right before the season starts. You know, preseason starting. um, It looked like they were going to be a finals favorite. And now a lot of people are skeptical because of this entire situation. It's been ever-changing, so I'm sure tomorrow or tonight we're going to get some more news about it. But I wanted to go ahead and get this out because it's obviously a big situation right now. Um, a lot of people speculate maybe Draymond's going to get traded to like the Lakers or a contending team like that. Would be interesting to see, but I mean, we'll just have to see how the Warriors go forward with this situation. I'm looking at most likely a suspension at the minimum, but there is a big chance that one of these guys gets traded just because of how unlikely it is that they're going to make up and become friends again or be willing to play on an NBA court again just because it's just a weird situation how do you feel about this overall um should how long should he be suspended if he is also should one of them be traded I'd love to hear your guys thoughts down below and your trade opinions down below where would the best situation be if both of these guys ended up being traded as always if you enjoy my content please hit the like button and subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video 
Hopefully tonight we don't get any more news that Jordan Poole, you know, was like antagonizing him by calling him or insulting his mom or something like that because then I'd have to change the video entirely. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.